Many are the sicknesses, infirmities, pain of the righteous. But the Lord, being a righteous man, is not necessarily about doing right alone. It's about the covenant that has invested God's grace upon your life that God is obliged to defend. Listen carefully. The Bible did not say many are the afflictions of the righteous and on crying, the Lord delivered him. The Bible says the Lord will arise as an act of his honor to the righteous deliver him and insist that he's completely delivered are we together many are the afflictions of the righteous you know many times when believers have maybe infirmity bills all kinds of things we sometimes are sad not because of the challenges but because we believe we are the righteous are we together now but the bible comforts us here by telling us that god the god of the heavens has the interest of the righteous at heart it's important to understand this that by the wisdom the power the jealousy and the grace of god there is always a way of delivering him out of them all are we blessed it was the psalmist that said i will lift up my eyes follow me carefully onto the hills then he said from whence cometh my help so he's talking about help here you can get help from many 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 means but he says my help cometh from the same word again the lord is his personal name yahweh the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. I hope you know that it's not only the heavens and the earth that God can make. God can make men. God can transform men. Mm. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It is a powerful advantage to be a believer. Look at me. Because there is an array of a supply of mysterious spiritual arsenals. Being a believer is not just about making heaven. It's not even just about subscribing to the government of Christ. It's that you now belong to a kingdom that is mysteriously powerful. Sustaining abilities and strategies that are only limited by the wisdom of the Christ. Now, God is not wise. He is the fountain of wisdom. That revelation should scare you. If God is wise, it means he has to depend on an information outside of himself. But it is within his power to fabricate infinite strategies to see that a believer testifies. Hmm. Powerful revelation. We are limited. That is the reason why sometimes we have to outsource intelligence. But God is the fountain of wisdom. His wisdom cannot allow a situation to be higher than his ability to solve it. This is one of the things that makes him God. The ability to insist until creation and all everything comes under the Christ. The Bible says that the Lord, my help cometh from the Lord which make heaven and the earth he can make men he can make a family he can make your finances he can bring strange beauty and glory out of your life and there are many ways that god makes there are many ways that he helps one of it is to deliver another is to lift my brothers and my sisters please listen to me God is not a man. Find a way of being convinced tonight. Because if you don't believe this, it will be difficult for you. Every challenge looks mighty until you see the size of God with respect to it. Parus kalapariata. 
the medical bills always look threatening the medical report always looks threatening but when God steps in he changes everything when he's done he leaves his signature El Shaddai when when God visits you he doesn't just leave he will leave his signature so that everyone will know that this one is the Lord's doing are we together many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered them the Lord delivered him from them all from them all this is a word of hope that means you can expect tonight that God should visit you completely now listen 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 let me teach you something about Satan Satan is the master of the flesh realm did you know why the Bible says for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace the gateway to your mind from the earth realm is to your faculties of interaction with this realm and Satan is a master of the flesh realm he will magnify the challenge that stands before you and he keeps magnifying it until God is demagnified in your life and at that point you will never be able to see the possibilities of God in your life again this is what leads to men limiting God the Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying can God make a way hallelujah praise the Lord God is going to do wonders in the lives of people tonight yeah. let me share with you something very deep right now and then we're going to pray I didn't intend to wear what I'm wearing anybody who knows me knows that this has this is not my dressing at all I intended wearing something else when the Spirit of God began to give me a revelation I saw strange fruitfulness is a very mighty grace listen and the Lord told me not I mean I was just sharing with my boys and they thought it was just to iron this and the Lord said you are not only going to teach it you will act it like a garment this is why I'm wearing what I'm wearing now see listen the way of the spirit is strange you have to be spiritual to understand the impulses of the spirit it always does not make sense until it happens are we together fruitfulness I will make you exceeding fruitful that kings will come out of you see listen there is a song that says he knows my name he knows my every thought he sees each teeth that falls and he leaves me well many times when you stand in front of the obstacles the sicknesses the infirmity satan is master of the flesh realm he will tell you how many men of god have prayed for you how many times have you fasted over this issue but one thing you need to understand about the word of god is that it does not just come it is sent please understand this when i sent you the word of god is sent sent when it is sent it is mandated to not return to god void until it accomplishes the purpose for which it has been sent are we together please sit down we'll soon be standing to pray so the lord has many ways of delivering his own the second thing I want to communicate tonight is that as powerful as God is please listen as powerful as God is the possibilities that come to men from God depend on the quality 
of the vessel being used please listen carefully it does not just depend on the might of God the vessel being used has a lot to do with what reaches the saints I sense a strong anointing here I'm seeing lights lights this is what I see when I begin to talk about these things the Lord puts a witness to himself lights overflow one we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. Let it rain. Open the flower. Let Please sit down. All vessels do not allow the same possibilities of God to reach men. The power of God is not just limited by demons and principalities and powers. The capacity to the mystery of death that is provided by the vessels can amplify the hand of God as far as providing spiritual possibilities is concerned so it is true that god intends to do a thing within this his domain called earth but listen to me a vessel can be so limited and because that is the vessel god has to make do with god will have to navigate around the allowance that the death of that vessel can provide listen very carefully so that many times what we experience in the meeting is not necessarily all god could do it was what the level of the death and the alignment of the vessel allowed therefore we are mandated as privileged stewards of this mystery to continue to die and to continue to expand because there is a relationship between our death and the glory that is released are we together now most of us are not aware of how many things on earth really depend on men there are so many things on earth that do not depend on god but the world of men is where the allowance or the disallowance happens and this is a deep mystery because god made it so did you know that you can have a vision of you being delivered and you being blessed the challenge is that the miracle you want to receive does not just come generically you see the miracle you want to receive must be lower than the level of death i have gone through to really reach you the way it left heaven if you are faced with a situation that is higher than the death level of that vessel as mighty as god is that vessel will not be able to receive the richness of what was sent to heaven this is more than just being anointed this is becoming a conduit for greater heavier and weightier dimensions of the possibilities of god to reach men I arrived and my eyes was almost full of tears as I saw the crowds of people I know you came to see God we agree it is true but you can imagine in a meeting where people start and welcome the Lord Jesus Christ 
and yet burdens remain there challenges remain there until a man shows up and then the burdens begin to go god was there right from beginning of the service are we together now this is very powerful and every time god grants us the privilege to grow and to transit in the spirit we rejoice not just for ourselves alone but that we have been able to capture greater dimensions of possibilities for the sake of the saints so that what could not be solved yesterday can now be solved today this is the beauty of growth this is the beauty of power this is the only justification why people should continue to listen and receive from a man it should be predicated on the fact that there is an intentional commitment to grow to expand to be able to host more of god Listen, the dynamics of the working of his word is that mediating between God, the communicator of that dimension, and man who is the final recipient, there must be men. And this is where the problem usually is. The problem is not with the power of God. The problem is not with the wisdom of God. The problem is the limitation of the vessels that he has to make do with. Are we together now? So the greater the death, the more the life, the power in experience of the reality of the Christ. Here's what the Bible says. Now unto him who is able to do, listen, exceeding, abundantly, far above all we ask or think. Then it says, according to the power, not that works in him, that works in us. He is able to do. There's no problem with his ability. But that ability, the manifestation is limited by the power that works in us. The dam can supply water. The borehole can supply water. But what enters your bucket finally is the size of the opening from the nozzle of the tap if the tap is open so small it can make the dam look limited and you can be receiving drops of water and you will have to make do with what is coming hallelujah praise the lord and so god wants to cap this revelation of this mystery of fruitfulness in our lives 
God wants to wrought mighty deliverance. What is deliverance? A separation from the obstacle, the impedance that stands before you, around you. The obstacles don't have to be spirits. They can be situations. Hallelujah. If you are giving a death sentence in terms of a medical report, that report is looking for the power of God. Remember, we have taught here that the real activator of the possibilities of God is his divine power. His divine power flows through the channel of faith. But the final mystery that works the wonders is his divine power. The Bible says, according as his divine power that hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Tonight gathered here are several people with conditions that only God knows and only God can tell. But one thing I can tell you is that the king of glory is in this place. And not only the king of glory is in this place, the vessels that he has so engraced are also in this place. It is not a popular revelation in the church. Every time people say God is here, they are right. But the presence of the vessels that will be used by that God is often trivialized. Men are very powerful and they are very important. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, burdens will fall. Tonight, yokes will be destroyed. Tonight, God will turn the lives of people around. Hear me? There are things that have no business happening in your life that will be made to happen. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. Please understand this. Creation did not stop. There is nowhere in the Bible that God stopped creating. Mm -mm. Creation, God only took a break. But creation continues. Not just plants and animals. To create means to make material, to create a scenario out of nothing. You have no business getting a job before the year runs, but the word can create. You have no business coming out of pain. You have no business, but the word, the Rima word, revealed, backed by the power of God. You have no business being healed today, but the Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint means to set the date when it happens. Not only to reveal that it will happen, to make it happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please hear me. Shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray. Don't let the, the devil will use the flesh. This is not the first time you are attending a miracle service, he will tell you. This is not the first time men of God are praying for you. The moment those things come, you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind. You refuse, reject it. You can insist by faith that tonight is my night you can insist by faith father the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come lord the dimension that have not been opened to yet this is the night i will receive hear me hear me there are no special days for anybody it is your faith that makes it special the bible said today if you hear his voice any day can be that today Are we together? Blind Bartimeo is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share 
the grace and you go back frustrated but there are people who have come some of you have been fasting some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger there are people standing outside people following online why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that you are a man of God you have come from far why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of God is God speaking to us one scripture and then we'll pray Isaiah 61 this is a scripture that is very powerful the hand of God is moving in overflow one I continue to see this thing overflow one I'm seeing it's an impartation it's not just a deliverance there is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives the opening of prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn all not some three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion giving them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified go to verse 4 and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations I believe in the power of God I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it how shall these things be Mary said seeing that I know not a man he says the power of the highest shall overshadow not come upon overshadow you are under the influence of the Spirit of God and under the influence of the Holy Spirit there is nothing that cannot happen please listen to me under the influence of the Spirit time can be compressed under the influence of the Holy Spirit there are things that should not happen but can happen now the Lord is that spirit the Bible says this Lord we have been talking about is that spirit not just the father seated on the throne the Lord who delivered the righteous the Lord who anoints is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is you will know that he is there by the miracles you know that he's there not just because you ask him to come alone you are here working miracles i worship you i worship you you are here turning lives around i worship you 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 are here releasing destiny I worship you I worship you way may miracle walk from this light in the darkness in a place 
not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and i want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that god cannot meet you that god cannot touch you let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now but listen i learned this from pastor benny Hinn. i will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray haven't worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of god begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness the infirmity you will think just because you are in god's presence and you expect him to touch you to heal you he will not take something from you that you are still holding back this mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box when she came to jesus the bible says it was made of spikenard pure nard a year's wages she broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform god that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key when you come to god the bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists number two that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him how does he reward there must always be an exchange your weakness for his strength the miracle the testimony are we together now so you must be able to hand over everything here's how the bible puts it all my cares and burdens unto you I that's a part of the song that is powerful lord i come to you with this array of family challenges i'm handing it over to you i don't expect to go empty there are many people whether god touches you or not you will go back full because you didn't give him anything until you transfer the burden the sickness the bible says cast all your cares it didn't say god will do it it is your responsibility to say lord i'm tired of carrying this infirmity i'm tired of carrying this evil report i bring it before you and i cast it down when you are now empty god says i now exchange that which you have brought for what i have brought nobody comes before god empty and God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah, I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am Cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. Your 
are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. The apple in Sarkin Salama, Sarkin Al Jana, Yabo de Nakao, Sujada, Sarkin Salama. Listen. When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you have always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen, Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. 
you're going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty you will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me are we together now this is where the spirit of faith comes the faith of God it says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith you're going to pray Lord my faith is strong I believe you I believe you lift your voice and pray let it be from the depth of your heart tonight my faith is strong I believe that this is the night the night when you transform the night when you heal the night when you deliver the night when you turn my family around is someone praying this is the night of your power the night of your glory this beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory manifest your glory oh God father help my own belief I reject unbelief they limited God in the wilderness by saying can God make a way can God make a way you are in ministry pray tonight is a night when you expand when you receive you are in business pray career pray you are in ministry pray for your family pray release your faith hallelujah listen prayer point number two the bible says ye have not because ye ask not you have not because you ask not he said ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete ask and you will receive he didn't say give us any day give us this day our daily bread listen when you come to God it is not only important that you are aware of who he is but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for every time Jesus would meet with a blind man a lame man he would ask them what do you want that you are lame does not mean you want to stand you must be able to verbalize your requests you must be able to communicate listen I know that many of you have written your prayer request but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight lift your voice and pray someone is talking to the Lord communicate your expectation when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south lift your voice and pray pray with faith in your heart Ha 
la baruta shala bragada balaramu Santa la to shala gradira da baladaba Rekete baladaba someone is praying Lord my ministry is about to catch fire there is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life there is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me is someone praying I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same My life I will never be the same I've touched your grace situation to change God is not a magician you will need to release your faith with understanding you are before the God of all flesh the doer the walker of wonders he's truly a miracle worker please believe in miracles believe in miracles they are not a fabrication of human intelligence no no God can work miracles God does miracles God delivers, God heals, God lifts, God transforms, God sets free. That's what His grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay. The same, I've touched your grace, my life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace, my life is changed. I will never see the same. I've touched your grace, my life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen. Don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits.
please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there are we together when we pray and minister to people listen we're, we're a very we a very balanced bible-based ministry and let me tell you this by the spirit of god you do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them now i know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of scripture this is not what we're talking about we're talking of liberty that is provable that you can walk out before the service is done you are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will you can be a man of god here greatly in ministry you are anointed but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics preaching well that is wonderful but let me tell you he said i desire once and again to come to you but satan hindered us it is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 what seest thou four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem and against israel that these horns have made it that no man don't lift his head he said but i have sent four carpenters it's a reality behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, 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 oh.
shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago. He was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him. And while I was talking with him, as he entered my room, I saw a spirit just entering with him. And I looked at this dear gentleman, lovely, adorable, wonderful person. And I was politely going to hint him to say, sir, the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right, no problem. I respect you, I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me and said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, tonight in the name of Jesus, every spirit that is not of the Christ, that is back of the situation around my life, my family, my business, my ministry, pray. Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Ex 
except God is not God there is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight please quickly just bring them out I'm seeing the power of God I don't know why God is giving me this instruction even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered i will contend with them that contend with you even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Baruta Shala de Gadusia, Emprata Shala 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 Shara Paratusia, Credo Selica Tusia Dabash. we are ready to pray please lift your hands let me pray now i'm seeing fire that fire is coming on people as i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as you shout that name jesus i declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives over bodies over finances over destinies i invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant he must go now at the count of three shout Jesus one two three I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out in the name of Jesus I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit I come against it by the God of Jeshurun please bring them out we release a sound in the realm of the spirit we declare sounds of victory was he praying my god chains i'm seeing chains in the spirit one more time you are going to shout that name lord if there is anyone here under any kind of chain the bible says to release them that are bound as you shout that name no matter how long that chain has stayed it's time for you to be released are you ready now thank you father for the honor of your word one two three shout jesus i break those chains now i break those chains now i break those chains now over families over businesses i break those chains now Hallelujah. 
the Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard and the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave the spirit of Hades I stand by the God of heaven and I declare right now anyone covenanted to the power of the grave the covenant with death the covenant with the grave by fire may that fire fall on you now the covenant with the grave the covenant with death I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now be liberated now be free now hallelujah now listen we're going to pray for the sick but i'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs growths and lungs this is what i'm seeing I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues by the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus. I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in And we will never here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever out of their bodies forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the lord is showing me something that i don't see very often i'm seeing an old gate and i'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation you are here and mysteriously you have been in the same position you try to move you try to push i'm about to smash that gate to pieces not to open it to stamp it down he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder now help them please listen i want you to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men by systems by spirits so that you cannot move by this shout of the healer tonight i declare every gate crushed and comes down now are you ready at the count of three one two three 
prophesy to you move forward go forward go forward go forward stagnation comes to an end ritro apakoto shala rekete kete kete parus kaba embregeto sheleto sabaka stagnation comes to an end retrogression comes to an end Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This my in the name of Jesus. This chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that? First bank. All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you. One of you, it, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank, you are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is it a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm I'm seeing a family of five ladies there's no marriage one two three four five five ladies nobody has settled down where are you please come where are you coming from my dear 
from Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you, all alive, five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. Amen. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here if it's not. I will pray for everybody. Five families none not one person has settled down ladies now don't cry my dear jesus is in this place release the family now release the family now i'm looking at this lady and i'm seeing coals of fire and i'm seeing a horn on it release the family now There is someone here this is a very mysterious thing that happens to you in a very strange way this happens especially when you pray for extended periods your whole body starts itching you in a funny way you know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug chloroquine that's what happens to you like physically you begin to scratch your body i must pray for you why is she here please you are the one come Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? Okay. You see, my dear people. I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is. Itch, listen to the the, the issue. just saw fire this room right down just like a sword of fire just passed i don't know who that is for but in the name of jesus let it bring emancipation right now right now in the name of jesus look at me my dear you believe in jesus i bring you life from this kingdom that we represent be free now from this demonic satanic oppression in the name of jesus uh, dear auntie let me pray for you just keep her there can you hold my hands madam i want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names help her be free right now i cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ five families hold my hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of jesus i decree and declare let it be over let the doors be opened in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you my dear i'm looking at you physically but in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an arrow inside your head i need to pray there is infirmity that has been projected in your body i hope you understand what i'm saying can i pray for you is that all right father help this lady in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit be free from this that does not name the name of christ i set you free from it now in the name of jesus five ladies i'll just lay my hands on you be free right now let the doors be opened be free right now kai let her go out now in the name of jesus she's also here your dad is a general in the army where are you from? Gombe State. Uh, Gombe State. 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 You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. Yeah. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. Yeah. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, 
preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a family now God is breaking the plague of death the power of God is coming I don't know whether they are inside or outside the plague of death is being broken right now there is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death please come very quickly I'll just touch you I don't know why they are here but we have to hurry up very quickly just a touch believe by faith it is over out of her now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus sir where are you coming from I'm from Abuja. from Abuja yeah what do you do sir you're a minister of the gospel I want to pray for you where, where, where are you coming from where do you come your state of origin do you plan to go this Christmas no, no, no. Huh? I, I went for operation listen that's what I want to talk to you I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive but then I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom we anything God shows we cancel you get the point now I'm seeing this man going in a bus and I'm seeing a truck I will not mention I'm not being antagonistic but the truck did not just shift your car it climbed it and everybody gone like that you see when God shows a thing it is because of the strength he has put in his church the power to change it completely are we together I want to pray for you you are very sick and even the surgery has not solved the problem because what I'm seeing is still there please hold my hand sir father in the name of Jesus Christ the son let this man not be given to the sword let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's Word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. oh yeah yeah say oh yeah In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here God is doing to a lady there I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus please come sir let me just touch you by faith in Jesus name be set free come in Jesus name be set free 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 there is someone I think you are in ministry you are in overflow one the power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now please carry the person and bring the person here we have to hurry up I'm seeing the power of God touch the person hallelujah I'm about to release that grace for speed again Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah 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 ah. Shala super I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. 
and I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are Easterners, is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of jesus who is the christ of god help her please in the name of jesus i command that spirit now by the power of the holy ghost release our mother in the name of jesus mommy i command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me just pray for these two people now this lady where's she coming from okay there is it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here I don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall I'm seeing I'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region I'm seeing things like chains just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking I'm seeing things like chains these are devils of infirmity the Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand please just allow me do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free please bring them out we're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus Karu Salatu Ziata Kariza Hashalam Barita Suba Haseketa Kradu Saletu Shala Saba Hashara Tata Ziakata Rakata Barada Balakata Prata Sadabakatu Shala Branda Skabariata I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact every planting that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ be free from it now <laughs> hallelujah the power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies one of these ladies with the jerseys I'm seeing an anointing I know you are ministering but this is a miracle God is bringing for you for your family one of the ushering ladies I don't know whether they are inside outside I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies this is this is liberty that God is bringing right now
in the name of Jesus my dear look at me shame and reproach is living your life now shame and reproach is living your life now the garment of shame and reproach is living your life now why is this gentleman here you are not the anointing outside come hold my hands in the name of Jesus I pray for you come you lifting your hands run come your time of change has come where are you coming from it's, it's all right it's okay don't worry that's why you are here do you know me that's why I'm saying you just relax you were in the crowd and God brought you here do you know why God brought you here because things are not working at all in your family God needs to turn things around if I don't pray for you what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit let me pray for you hold my hands my dear what did you study Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Kashina. Sarakin Sarakuna Yana Na Sarakin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, Parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three, take that grace now. Take 
that grace be restoration I prophesy pursue overtake without fail recover pursue overtake without fail recover in career pursue in marriage pursue in ministry pursue I'm speaking by the spirit pursue overtake recover pursue help that woman please overtake recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person by the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit. There is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. Na, na, na. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. Na, na, na. Sarkin Sarakuna. There are three more people, that's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind, it's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Kashina, Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Kashina, Kamuna. these ones that have come out by the spirit i'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet i'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains i lose you now in the name of jesus i release you to destiny i release you to destiny i release you to destiny by the power of the holy ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living god Hmm. the force of god's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people the power of god is coming on this gentleman this one wearing polo yes 
my friend the anointing of the spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way and i'm seeing a gate open before you and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ everyone lift your voice say after me in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit i am breaking limits i am moving forward lift your voice and begin to prophesy breaking limits in the name of jesus i make progress is someone praying i make progress by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people. Moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King of China, Nana, Kashina. dimensions we want to pray for the sick now listen very carefully I believe in miracles there are people here who are standing trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives their bodies Kai, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here I'm seeing impartations real graces impartations coming by the spirit impartations people are drinking of wines you might lift your hands I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus hold your hands two of you please help them take that grace in the name of Jesus amplify the grace you step into new dimensions in the spirit the spirit and the power of the word your words from today will be like fire fire refine us fire Sarukin Sarabuna Na 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 Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay i place a ladder before you and i shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many may your life change change like day and night praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise let's stretch our hands here Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time, 
and the openness of the vessel but that every time this is not a ritual it's a revelation to come before the god who can answer listen there are things here written that are death sentences there are things written here that will take only god to provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the bible says wherefore god hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name a title the bible says that at the mention of that name everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that jesus is lord even to the glory of the father i cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year i want us to agree in the next two three minutes wherever you are just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the egyptian that i see today in the name of jesus the christ of god i will see them no more forever is someone praying every evil report orchestrations of darkness if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever father we bring before you every situation here marital situations financial situations spiritual situations career situations in the name of Jesus we bring them under the covering of the blood every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever i stand as one sent by the spirit of the lord and i declare receive strange testimonies 
before this year runs out in the name of Jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies testimonies are largely answered through men hmm. when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of god to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of jesus every death sentence written here in the name of jesus we cancel it now hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life please i want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ <laughs> delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man listen honor is a grace when that grace is not upon you no matter how noble you are you will never be honored honor is a grace and when that grace is on you only God can take it away it says and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable 
many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now you will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life when the grace for honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward david said what shall be given to the man that will do this to goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward i pray for you may the lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you the lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness i stand by the god of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust god it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around i'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared paru shalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah we're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life may that grace rest upon you now prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some canal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything 
that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year i'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here something special about your name Jesus Glorious 
also right here. Something happened when I mentioned your name. Hallelujah. Demons will flee tonight. Gates will be open tonight. Men will change state in the spirit. That's what God told me. Men will change state. The Bible says Saul left and he came back as another man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 I don't want you to ever trivialize what God is doing in this place. There is a heavy unction. A heavy unction of the spirit in this place tonight. There is a very heavy unction. The worship team tore this atmosphere open as they led us in worship. I know I won't go back the same. I am convinced no man will stop me. Not this pulpit, not this suit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. right from a great distance before i came i began to see angelic activities and i knew that tonight was a special night hallelujah hallelujah tonight we are going to be exalting the name of jesus and he will do glorious things in this place listen to me archbishop benson idahosa of blessed memory said if your faith says yes god will not say no are you hearing me if your faith says yes i want that cancer out of my life yes i want hiv to go yes i want that injury to dry up yes i want that terminal disease to go yes that limitation in my family to go god will not say no tonight are there some things you know you will never see in your life again from this night i gave us an instruction I said you should write five things i don't just say things anyhow if you've not done that find a paper and do it now five things that god will move upon radically for your life and for your family hallelujah see listen to me please look up I just want to guide us briefly and then we'll begin to move in the anointing of the spirit hallelujah there are three things that you must know tonight keep standing please I'll soon ask us now. number one I want you to know that miracles are not magic are you listening to me miracles are not what magic is the definite is the superimposition of the power of the holy spirit upon a man's situation if god cannot change a man's story then he is not god there is no reason why god should touch one person and not touch the other the fact that he touched one person is a sign that his presence is in the room are you listening to me as as words are released from this place i like you to catch it in your spirit if you are sick in your body the moment declarations are made begin to check yourself now is not the time to be a spectator hallelujah 
Because tonight is the time when God will set men free. And God will set families. Don't leave your family behind. You can still send a text to them while you are here. And tell them send your prayer request. God is doing something this night. It's not too late. It's not too late. Send them a text. We are not just joking. Hallelujah. Jesus is in this place. I want to thank everyone inside and outside. Those of you standing outside, I see you from here. For as far as my eyes can see, the Lord will visit you this night. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord put together these miracle services is not a ritual are you listening to me it's not a ritual it's an act of his love it's a demonstration of his power to give us an opportunity to experience the power of the Holy Ghost at work in the life of his people And if you get angry in your spirit and refuse the bible says resist the devil and he will flee i trust that at the end of tonight's meeting many of you will be smiling home because you will know that finally 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 the presence of god has set you free in the name of jesus be seated very quickly god bless you acts chapter 3 hallelujah acts chapter 3 i want to welcome as many people who have come from different parts of this nation hallelujah you have not come to see a man you have come to meet the almighty and i assure you you will not be disappointed in the name of jesus praise the lord lord we thank you for what you're doing in our midst tonight glorify jesus once again acts chapter 3 Please, if you've not written your prayer requests, can you write it quickly? If you need to copy down some from your text message, maybe for your family members, do that quickly. Ushers, if it's possible to just help one or two people who are in need of something to write, or you can help someone by your side, please. Let's do that very quickly because we are going to collect them now. Hallelujah. Do it quickly because we'll collect it shortly. Acts chapter 3 verse 12 and when Peter saw it he answered the people ye men of Israel why marvel ye at this or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk 13 the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob the God of our fathers has glorified his son Jesus whom ye delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate and when he was determined and he was determined to let him go 14 but he denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you 15 and killed the Prince of life whom God hath raised from the dead of which we are witnesses can we read 16 together one to read and his name true faith in his name had made this man strong whom ye see and know yea the faith which is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of ye all the bible says true faith in his name faith in the name of jesus christ 
I'd like you to know tonight that miracles happen because of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. The name of Jesus is powerful. The name of Jesus is not just a pronunciation. J-E-S-U-S. -S. The name of Jesus is an office in the realm of the spirit. Vested with all the authority that can be in God. Hallelujah. He said, in my name, in my name, ye shall cast out devils. Not by wearing suit, not by speaking good English. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And if you drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt you. Jesus gave us a ministry and he sent us the bible says when he resurrected he said all hail all authority in heaven and in the earth have been given unto me he said go therefore i send you with my name when he sent the 70 the bible says they came back rejoicing and they said even the devils demons were subject to us only through thy name hallelujah the name of Jesus is powerful are you listening to me the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 he said let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus he said although he was God he did not consider it to be robbery but he humbled himself became a man he died even the death on the cross he said wherefore God had so highly exalted him and he gave him an identity an office and there was a decree in the heavens he said everywhere that name is mentioned let every knee bow of things in the heavens of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess let me tell you every oppression has a name every sickness every challenge has a name and tonight they will bow to this majestic name of jesus the name of jesus invokes the fullness of the power of heaven it brings the power of heaven to the scene when the name of jesus is released with faith there's nothing there's no power in existence that can stop that name hallelujah there is no power a man had been lying by the gate beautiful and the bible tells us that when it was the hour of prayer having been commissioned to walk in his name in his office in his authority the bible says peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer suddenly they saw this man and the man began to beg for arms and Peter said look on us and the Bible says he looked excited expecting that they'll just give him money God wants to do more than you came here for because the man just wanted money but God wanted to make him home hallelujah and Peter said silver and gold have I none he said but such as I have it has been given to me he said in the name of of the Lord Jesus rise up and walk and the man stood there and was just looking at them didn't get up didn't walk and the Bible says Peter reached his hand and grabbed him and lifting him the Bible says he leaping stood tonight what is that mountain before you tonight what is that challenge before you the Bible lets us know that a name has been given unto him. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Tonight we represent a government and we represent an office given by heaven with the backing of his majesty. And on account of that, the Lord will be terminating all kinds of things in this place. Years of struggle and delay will vanish overnight believe this believe this the bible says they had the word just like we did 
but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith tonight God will change your story I assure you he will do it it is within his power he said if thou be willing you can make me clean he said I am willing be thou clean so what is it that you came here what challenge some of you came here with HIV viruses in your body that have defied medical attention some of you came here with terminal disease it's a matter of life and death except God intervenes some of you came here with all kinds of heterogeneous oppressions of the devil heterogeneous some of you came here because you are tired and you need some answers to your life you're saying Lord it can't be like this I love the song that the worship team minister it it tore my spirit open for how long will your family members continue to lament as if there is no God in Israel for how long will you continue praying and fasting and begging he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor her the time to favor her yeah the set time tonight can be your set time if you are interested in what I'm saying hallelujah that you say Lord turn me into another man this captivity in my life change it change my story one joblessness to another joining the rat race of struggling people in Nigeria today you can make up your mind and say Lord I contact power in the heavens all kinds of oppressions by demonic strongholds it can go mental bondage mental blockage you can be set free from it tonight marital delays marital delays it can go tonight you will see how helpless satan is at the name of jesus christ i assure you hallelujah sickness in your body every kind of discomfort confusion in your life some of you are weary you came here as a last resort you just said god i'm tired I pray that you will find rest tonight in the name of Jesus many of you traveled from far and near I'm aware that there are people who came from as far as Yola and other parts of this country I can only imagine what these people were saying in the car say Lord I'm coming to Zaria to meet with you God is everywhere but his manifest presence to demonstrate the sovereignty of Christ is not everywhere. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'd like you to look at your prayer request for one minute. Pick it up and look at it. If you brought it, look at it. Look at it. Get angry about it. I didn't say laugh at it look at it look at the things you wrote with your own hands do you believe God is able to do it some of you is building projects some of you is to change your genotype your blood group some of you is to terminate the works of darkness some of you there there are roles of your family members who have not married the youngest person in your family is 30 years old no man is coming to ask their hand in marriage don't say it does not matter because that's your cry in the secret place and you wrote it hallelujah there are many of you your parents have been on projects for years donkey years hallelujah some of you are struggling students even in this exam right now there are some people who are already crying and lamenting there are some of you final year students who are here you know if God does not help you you are in for a shock 
but I have good news for you. Jesus is in this place tonight. He's not here to watch you beg and roll on the floor. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Listen, number one, you must believe that God wants you blessed and he wants you out. You must look, that's why I say you should look at the prayer, the prayer points. You must believe. If you do not believe that God wants these things out of your life or wants to bring these things into your life, then there's no point listening to me. Because the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever must come unto him must believe that he exists and that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Nothing can stand your presence. I don't care what medical report you are holding in this place tonight. I don't care what medical report you brought. SS, AS, hallelujah i don't care what hiv cancer tumor arthritis name it i don't care what else is in your prayer requests if god is alive he will do wonders tonight i know this there's nothing that defies the power of the living God When the nation of Israel stood and the Red Sea was before them, Egyptians were coming with anger to take them back to where they were. What's that worship song again? You could sing that song again. I've forgotten. Who is talking? What are you saying? Eh? Wait. Uh -huh. Before your presence came and changed me. I was singing it boldly, boy. Sing it again. I won't go back. I won't go back. Hold on. From where? You left Egypt peacefully. And, and Pharaoh said, I won't let them go. Do you know? Listen. Listen. Do you know that the fact that God wants to release you does not mean Satan is ready to let you go? It takes power. The Bible says when Moses came and told Pharaoh, he said, Mr. Man, God has sent me. And Pharaoh laughed. Say, which God? There are many. Which one are you talking about? Hallelujah. And he threw his rod. And Pharaoh brought his wise men. They threw their rods too. Tonight there are demons positioned. There are devils positioned. They've been planning since beginning of this month that you won't go. It takes force. He said, through the greatness. He said, how awesome are your ways, O Lord. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. Not through grammar. Through the, it takes power. Authority is useless without power. A police officer can stop a car and the truck will come and kill him and say, you are wasting my time. Get out of the way. That's a powerless authority. But when you have authority, that there are angels standing to supervise that this word comes to pass. You are not alone in this place. I won't go back. You left Egypt on your way to your prophetic destiny. Now Pharaoh begins to ride upon that horse. Mimicking Christ who rides upon his horse also. The Bible says there was a Red Sea. And the nation of Israel began to murmur and Moses went to God. He said, stand still. Exodus 14, 14. Fear not, be still. He said, for these Egyptians that you see, have the privilege of looking at them at, for the last time. That's why I told you, look at your report. Because he says, these Egyptians you see, you will never, never. And it became true in the Bible because they didn't see those Egyptians again. 
God open the ground for them whatever God needs to do tonight if the ground needs to open if the ground needs to fill if a boat to, is to come and carry you to your place whatever needs to be done is within the power of God but I know he said I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his riders have been thrown swallowed permanently you know why they if they bury a man in water that's the worst form of death there's no hope of seeing you that's why they bury bin Laden that way someone can dig the grave to wipe your memory from the face of the earth you won't go back what again back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me that's what is happening to you refuse to go back say lord that habit been struggling with masturbation been struggling with pornography i've prayed i've fasted i've done night vigils tonight tonight i contend against those powers once and for all hallelujah it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn hallelujah there are families like that doors keep opening for every other person until it comes to the point of your father or your mother tonight god will visit families oh god will visit families you notice the last three or so miracle services we've been concentrating on families god wants to step in and do miracles in families everything you lay your hands on doesn't work everything you lay your hands you own the shop you eat everything there by yourself because there's nobody to come and buy it someone opens another shop before you and you're watching listen life is spiritual if you are yet to know that know it today say after me life is spiritual aha uh -huh. things don't just happen like that you orchestrate things to happen to job he spoke he said have thou commanded thy money thou commanded thy money it takes authority i'm saying this so that when when the time comes to minister you tell this you tell the devil pack your load and disappear from my life once and for all once and what for all not once and come back later once and for all because there are many people who have received some of the miracles you are writing here before and it came back you see let me tell you something the degree of your anger tonight say it must go once and wrong your mother or your sister struggled with barrenness and then they took in you even get testimony and you are laughing later they said there was a miscarriage come on it will go tonight once and for all for the bible says god opened the womb of rachel god opened the womb of hannah it's god that opens wombs oh it's not medical paracetamol or so on and so forth god opens wombs if god opens it no devil in existence can shut it hallelujah there are some of you they've prophesied to you even some of your lecturers have spoken to you they call you the dullest student in the class they say you are good for nothing you patch wire here three credits you added another one later you beg with the third one they say they don't accept they just allowed you but let me tell you something there is an unction that will come upon you tonight it will change your story the bible says they looked at saul and they say is saul also a prophet hallelujah terminal disease of all sorts that's why i said heterogeneous manifestations of evil don't you ever tell me god is responsible for what happened to you are you listening to me he said the enemy has done this and so you must rise up and say lord my mother was oppressed from her office they kicked her out because of her innocence if you are god tonight we settle the issue of her job tonight we settle every issue there are some lecturers that were withdrawn from abu if you know any of them or any of them is your father tonight is the night you get angry and say lord it is over 
Am I making sense to someone here? This is the session. You tell yourself you're going to come in with a CGPA that if men here, they will ask you and say, from whence comment this? <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight, we will open doors that have been closed. Hallelujah. And doors that Satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever. Both him and the door. It's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you. When you close him and the door goes out forever. Hallelujah. Oppressions of the devil. Tonight is the night when you say, Lord, I will step up. Everybody is announcing, say, God is blessing. Jake is announcing and say, God is opening doors. I'm sure that there are some families who are here seated. They are even doubting and say, God, will you really do this this night? Some of you invited your family members. Some of you outside while you're listening. Some people are even doubting and say, will God really change my story? Because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh, some months ago. You watch what God will do tonight. For you won't go back. You can't go back. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me There is a name that has been given unto us The name of the Lord Jesus Christ The exalted son of the living God Greater than every herbalist Greater than every sickness in your body greater than every medical condition i like you see tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports and say i stamp you tonight is the time for your genotype to change it's the time for the anointing of the spirit to walk in your life why we see not you why not see listen listen there are some of you that like receiving for others you have trained your faith to receive for others so when the word is coming like this you just exempt yourself why not you ask your neighbor say why not you say it why not you what is wrong with god prospering you what is wrong with god changing your story is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car must they die like that they already love god is it a crime for god to bless your family i'm speaking to someone here is it a crime that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords is it that god cannot do it if a rich man promises you now you will start dancing but god is here giving you an open check tonight Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years, because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. And he's telling on many of you, your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home. Tonight we have come to change these things. Some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life. They've said you will not amount to anything. But I have a shock for Satan tonight. You know, when you have a present, you first bring it out. You don't know what is inside, but you know there's a present. He will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. See, in case you don't know, if you are a visitor here, let me tell you a few things. We deal ruthlessly with Satan in this place. Are you listening to me because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life he said the enemy the bible calls him a thief anything that a thief has is not his own where did he get it from answer me where did he get it from from who the owner the bible calls him a thief he has stolen the joy of some people and some families 
there are many of you now your families are at the verge of divorce your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight some of you your loved ones have been missing you even thought they are dead they will come back oh yes he shouted the voice of lazarus and in hell lazarus had it your own they've not gone to hell yet they will hear this night tonight every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth that is at work in everyone will be released tonight because when we did the teaching about destiny help us do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others Oh, in case you don't know, know it now. When Jesus was born, he suddenly find, found out that they were looking for him to kill him. Questions are, who did he offend? Oh, don't offend me. Don't offend you. <clears throat> well, an angel said, this, the earth is a battleground, not a playing a, a football field. my change will come tonight that my change will come tonight I won't give up Lord I won't give up I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes if there is such an anointing I won't give up higher Lord I won't give up I keep resting on And those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death Who will cause it out of your life Are you listening to me? One more time look at your prayer request For the very last time and I mean business Ushers please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start, we don't need to be interrupted. Speak to it. Any goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. It's a son of man. Prophesy. Son of man. Prophesy. Look at it for the last time and say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shata rabala kata branda kalabosa. Rem brete gete kat shapras kata. Sheraba kata balaraba. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, you will answer. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, you will answer. This is my confidence, Lord. This is my that I have in you Whenever I go you You will, you will answer me. me This is the confidence One minute i like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this function lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name 
call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say Lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them call them by name say I release an unction to my home I release angels Lord as you are doing it here do it there as for me and my house and my house pray for them Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There's someone that had been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Saleh. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from please technical can you help us where did you come from Bauchi state. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste we are not going to have to mention cases individually but when when we call your case please run out we're going to pray and see as far as god want to finish fast so that we'll end quickly heart conditions leave your seat and come out here quickly either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation quickly quickly appreciate them as they line up here ushers coordinate them heart conditions Please come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. 
Line up, usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wave bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe. Sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me. Because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 Right. Devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it was in sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now, thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, 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 go. Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitans, Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now.
be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come out of her now come out of her come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her right now in the name of Jesus what's wrong be made free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now in the name of Jesus Whenever I call you, you will answer me. 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 Set free right now from every oppression in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside, please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One, two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. In power, move in power, move in power at the back, outside at the back, move in power, move in power. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. 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 The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose was the Son of God. I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies 
sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. Now the devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. 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 I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you come out of him in the name of jesus the fire of the holy ghost upon you the fire of the holy ghost upon you leave him leave him go 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 as you touch me you touch fire the fire of the holy ghost upon you the fire of the holy ghost come out of him he must be free come out of him Come out of Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon me. Out. 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 Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised, looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. 
Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? And that I went to toilet on my way coming back. You see, my you, face always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the I ground. Know that, I don't know how it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And Okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a hospital that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The, what is wrong is with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what so, I'm saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house... It's I time move, for you I to move, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now, in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, Mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I... Okay, what, what, is, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with it's right the now? Cancer of the womb. Cancer it's of the womb. We're bleeding. Then, your the, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You still feel pain? Yes. Where? The finger. When you want to lift it up in your fingers, yes. every pain go. I command it to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pain? You feel pain where? Yeah. Your shoulder. My shoulder. In Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus. Begin to move it. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. In the name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. Are you ready? One. Do it. Go ahead. Wind it. Go, go. Go. In the name of Jesus, go ahead. All of them, yes. Don't think about it, just go.
hallelujah i'm seeing someone that coughs out blood i'm seeing someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out please clear the way for them ah look at oppression this is what i'm seeing come on now get out of her out of her now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus out of her now out of her out devil of darkness i curse you by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus not only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed lay your hands on her chest in the name of jesus i curse that power of darkness be free totally now in the name of jesus since when for the past two weeks for the past two weeks have you gone to the hospital can i pray for you you believe jesus will lay your hands on your chest you will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. now you hear my voice let her go 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 hallelujah those of you inside lift your hands i'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play listen when that happens the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness you must go this is not a negotiation hallelujah lift your hands at the count of three begin to clash the cymbal one two three Hashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire! 
The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out, Katana Bata. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. It make it this out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. <laughs> Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. 
Mama, please come. Jang Fa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiama. Alright, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 You can't stand it. Go. 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 I prophesy to you today after today your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist are you listening to me every oppression those outside hear me every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart look at me just look at me look at my eyes look at my eyes just keep looking look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm seeing your father's face on your face look at my eyes just look for she will go free the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers right now you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Lift up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of Glory will come in. In Jesus' name. You're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it We have the Son, so we have it
lay your hands on her stomach out 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 in the name of Jesus what is it cancer who said so the doctors lay your hands there lay Kisan, interpreter Selina where is she? she's walking tell her Jesus okay okay tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now see she's crying see tell her Jesus will heal her now is she looking at you look at her tell her mama Jesus will heal you. I saw that too much. Look at look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep in the night. I can't please. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside I want you to know that Jesus is in this place there is someone I need in this room the devil has oppressed them. and the Holy Ghost spoke to me he said come out two of you all of you in this room lift your hands that devil is a liar as I, I shout the name of Jesus the fire of God will come people please let me in the mighty name of Jesus I release fire right now my father locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus let the fire of God fall 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 two of them two of them there's one already two of them fall Fall, fall, fall. Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come up. Come out of her. Shut her down. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who has the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the son. Has eternal life. We have the son. So we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of you are not done out 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 until he's completely free out little girl be free I separate you with this spirit go 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 time up time up this lady is heavily oppressed out of her out devil of darkness you came for koinonia you're welcome out of her in the name of jesus stand up pick him up fire on you right now it's time it's time it's time you must go go bring him you must go this lady has been so tight now listen i need to explain something to you please follow me it's not the people listen it doesn't mean they are possessed with demons are you listening to me so get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around there are three levels of manifestation of satan some of them are acutely possessed with demons some of them devils influence their lives and destinies so the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed are you hearing what i'm saying that's why they don't even know pick him up Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil this lady has dreams and she meets with people go out of her go out of her just let him let him lie down when he's ready to stand up this guy is so weak he doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of satan who prayed let me pray for you mama you believe jesus has authority over cancer you do because he's going to go oh yes it will go hmm? lay your hands there See, I, i'm touching it it's looking like a stone out of her out of her out of her devil of darkness is not cancer is a spirit go out of her now go out of her now go out of her now he was the son has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man on the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yeah. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Right Where? Right what of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. 
follow me can you walk try it just take a step and see what's wrong with the legs it's heavy ah where but can you bend it like this try and bend it go ahead in the name of jesus in the name of jesus could you do this before could you do this before god is healing you keep moving it move it move it you just do what i'm telling you to do move it move it now move it like this move it like this move it like this move it like this can we try and walk now hold this one hold my hands walk let's walk let's walk let's walk try and match it down is it because of the metal there's a metal inside his leg so it's limiting him from walking hallelujah so they must remove the metal they can't oh they put it here permanently lord let this metal become his bones amen in the name of the lord jesus Christ. Amen. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go. 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave I know. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Oga John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so we're we'll doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again? Yes, sir. You used to drink? Yes, sir. Have you stopped? Yes, sir. Completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, sir. Eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even Wayek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny. 
and call it forth into where God wants it to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again, come. I stop praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up. This gentleman. Look at me. your life listen listen i saw upon this guy the spirit of cain and i didn't know what it was he was lying down there that was why i walked there and laid my hands upon you know the curse that was upon cain bring them out god is not done with them yet you know the curse that was upon cain he said he won't die but he will be a wanderer this is how this guy's life has been today you are in lagos tomorrow you are here next tomorrow you are this it's time for your freedom free you he was the son has the time my dear come and stand here Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are sir. You you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please prophesy to them. Where's John for Jakes? Please, please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. 
both of your hands look at me just look at me Lord let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness in the name of Jesus be free I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost look at me I'm seeing you pregnant drive every useless man out of your life are you listening to me I'm not saying you are pregnant now I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit not physically hallelujah praise God so don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries number one South Africa huh Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One. A passion for God you cannot recover from the ministers are ministering to people around while they are that devil let me tell you cast out every devil prophesy release people to their prophetic destinies let her go 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 time up thou devil of darkness be free now be free now i command that wicked spirit depart from your life fire right now all over your body i release the fire of the holy ghost all over you right now leave her let her go for she shall not be called jabez that's what the lord says i should say because you were born in sorrow you will not be called jabez tonight i enlarge your coast in the spirit My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know because i see the spirit of anger and rage i mean rage almost to kill somebody but the lord sets you free and this is what i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the lord says restore this is what i prophesy restore this is what will begin to happen to you restore Ifai, Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them forth, quickly, we have to round up quickly please bring them if you invited someone no matter how far you are outside bring the person sir come it's time for the lord to set you free not only in your health but on every area of your life you believe that hold my hands both of your hands all right now i speak to you i open up that door I challenge the works of darkness go by the fire of the Holy Ghost one two three the Lord perfects you who brought this man what's wrong with you 
bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haidogo. From where? Haidogo. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Right? So disable all those man of God thing. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying and leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? My grain, put your hands on your head. Lay it. the prayer request. I need to serve. You will be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where's the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God life take over her life our foul spirit let her go lord anoint her and use her affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life please do it quickly someone help her Up your hands. I look to you for life.
I saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song. I will wait for you. Jesus. You're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. your hands shaba la para do crasta para bala rata kata prata kada bala da bash paro kapranda pradeshida do miracles oh god ma kata bala da 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 bash solve every problem here oh god and for all our facebook twitter These Egyptians, you see them no more. 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 These Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered all over this country and around the world. We release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit. Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit, supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands.
I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion the creative and prophetic power lift your hands As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened in the name of us. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay, delay in marriage, delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage, every academic bondage. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. Is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning I prophesied by the power of the highest I call this session for you a season of seven fall restoration seven fall restoration seven fall Seven fold, not one fold, not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open, every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a 
new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing cut up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk to it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names i command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what i'm demonstrating to you what i saw in the spirit that god is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Tonight the Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, I command, go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire 
go back and reproduce these things and even greater receive it receive it hallelujah thank you jesus now listen the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish listen to me everybody inside and outside you're here and you've been struggling with your life the lord has been speaking to you you know that now is the time to make it right with the lord jesus christ the bible says whosoever will come to me i will in no wise cast away he said come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest hallelujah you've never made this decision for the lord jesus christ especially many of you outside tonight is your night jesus is calling you jesus is saying how long will you run away when i have a better life for you when i can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself derailing please as you hear my voice do not harden your heart hallelujah at the count of three inside and outside i want you to leave your seat and rush out here the lord is calling you you've not given your heart to the lord leave your seat they are coming appreciate them right now leave your seat come right to the front clap for them they are coming thank you jesus you need to make it right with the lord come out or oh, you've been born again once but you've derailed don't stay outside no matter how far you are find your way to the front forget about your friend please run quick 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 do it fast keep clapping coin on here thank you lord for a harvest don't sit back there's still more people outside the holy ghost is speaking to you don't wrestle with him sister brother the time has come there are still more people i see outside keep coming we we'll wait for you for one minute keep coming no matter what you've done there is a fresh start celebrate them the devil is a liar he will not hold you back the devil is a liar the devil is a liar hallelujah keep coming keep coming you are welcome keep coming hallelujah thank you brothers and sisters for making this decision hallelujah i like to pray for you i like to lead you to jesus christ it doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone the lord can give you a new start tonight are you listening to me the lord can give you a new start tonight no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone lift your right hand to heaven and say after me lord jesus mean it from your heart this is not a bible recitation lord jesus i come before you acknowledging you as my savior i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for me today i receive the gift of salvation come into my heart give me a new start in the name of jesus i denounce sin i denounce satan make me a new person fill me with your holy spirit from today forward ever backward never the things i used to do i'll do them no more because jesus is lord of my life father i commend these ones to you they have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you my god i pray that their salvation be genuine 
and I pray that from today you begin a walk in their lives I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through in the name of the Lord Jesus let peace return to your heart Holy Spirit I commend you to these ones this is the assignment you have given on earth I pray that you do great things in their life in the name of Jesus 